everybody, my name is Mac Powd, and welcome to a game called Paradigma. Paradigma. Paradigm. Para. Para. This game came out as a demo like quite a while ago. I never got around to playing it, but now I think it is complete. Is it complete? I think. Is it complete? So we are going to play it. Um, hopefully you are going to enjoy this and come along with me and play a little bit of Para Dime. Right, hello. Oh, it's a, it's a tape player. Shout out to my homies if you know what a tape player is. 90s kids. Dupa. It's got a very 80s like feel about it. Ah! <laughs> what is that? Is your child a failure? Absolutely. They wasted years of their life <laughs> acquiring an art degree. Yes, you make but, it rain but on a regular basis. Degree. Yeah, I make it rain. <laughs> is your child just an asshole? Absolutely. These are questions we ask every day. I, I know the answer to them. They're all yes. Here genetics, we have the solution. Prodigy Child, the fully customizable child of your dreams. The process is very simple. We gather your broken dreams. We combine it with our cutting edge genetic sequencing technology. And finally, our secret sauce. And then your Prodigy Child is born. Don't All leave right. your child's success to chance. They can be a prodigy child in anything, such as scientist, bodybuilder, <laughs> the nips. wizard, wizard, and cat. <laughs> you know what to do. Do you really want to risk the embarrassment? I want a kitty child. Buy a prodigy child today. You won't regret it. First 100 call. Let's get nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Oh Jesus Christ! Is that me now? Put on some beatsies. I've got some bollocks on my head. What is going on? Oh my word! <sighs> I'm so bored. I should probably make progress on my EP and make some beats on the computer. And not procrastinate, which would inevitably lead me to reevaluating my life decisions and weeping silently. <laughs> That's great. I've completely forgotten how to exist. Bro, what the hell is that big ball bag? <laughs> Let's talk to John. John! Johnny boy? Jo John? John? Tickle John's little face. Let's talk to Johnny Does Boy. Look like he's turned on right now. Oh, he's not turn turned on. on. Somehow. I know how we can turn him on. Let's plug Johnny in. I need some sort of adapter. Oh my Jesus Christ! There he is. Right, like, let's take this. Let's take this. Come on, come over here, mate. This could be useful. I'll put it into my inventory. It'll be useful. I put it in my inventory. I've got a fish, <laughs> a cigarette, uh, and an adapter, wherever that is. Oh, item's going <laughs> A smoking fish! Beautiful! Right, okay, you can combine items. Well, we don't need to now because we need to just put that old adapter there. Uh, use. I need some sort of adapter first. Yes, I know. Uh, no, no, come here. Uh, how, how do I open my inventory up? Um. Um, uh, here we go. Right, adapter. Use it. There. On cable. Well done, you genius. Bloody hell. Now, Johnny. What? Yes! Oh, mate. What do you unplug me for? <laughs> you know why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's a fucking, like, cockney. What, mate? Oh, I'm a computer. And my name is John. John 3000. You fucking prick. Right, let's use him then. Johnny boy! Uh, talk to him. <laughs> Hello, John. How are you doing? Oh, wait. <laughs> uh, hey, dude. Do your Hell 9000 impression. Uh, what? No. Um, 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 
Um, why isn't the computer booting? Why isn't the computer booting? I want to make some fetish bitches. Mate, with some of the filth I see in your internet history, I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'm kind of if I want to be a part of this world, then I'll think about all the shooters who would be gutted, and then I change my mind. Oh, so it's meant to be Australian. That's meant to be an Australian accent. Okay. Uh, wouldn't it be unfortunate if I tripped? It'd be unfortunate if I just tripped and unplugged you again. Don't worry, mate. I'm not judging you. It's a little bit messed up, but, uh... Title 19... It's perfectly normal. <laughs> or sick blokes such as yourself, anyway. Sick guy! Uh, don't make me donate to the SOS... SOPC guild. Please, anything, but not the senile seniors operating personal computers guild. I had bigger dreams than being used to play solitaire and send money to Nigerian princes. <laughs> Real talk, why Real isn't talk. it working? Why isn't it working? Mate, the operating system is bugged. Some uh, <laughs> bloody hacker bloke mess with your system files. You're gonna need to wipe it and reinstall it using the recovery floppy disk. Um, where can I find, where can the, recovery I find the recovery floppy disk? Alright. I'll search with my little Google here and check it out. That's weird. It only tells me where to find sexy singles in my area. <laughs> it's a little weird secret to get ripped. I always wondered what I'd look like with a six pack. Just tell, tell me where to get it. All right, mate. I'll tell you. But first, I need your help. I've got at least 10 chat rooms and two internet dating sites to frequent tonight. And I need you to get me in the zone. How am I supposed to do that? I'm a little bit hurt you don't remember anymore. Ever since I had to roll back to version 2.1, you can't even look in my eyes, Jordan. We've already discussed this. You don't even have eyes. Seriously, what do you want? Use your imagination, mate. I need to maximize my sex appeal potential. One ton of copper wiring doesn't exactly swoon potential partners, except for sweaty salvage men. And I'll tell you what, mate, I don't want any news from sweaty salvage men tonight. I want to <laughs> look like sexy, sweaty ladies. Dig us up and out. Gross. Ugh. Such an irritating minor That's so convenience. funny. I just want to finish my new OP. By the way, if you don't fix the computer soon, the power plant will melt down and everyone will be dead. Well, or become seriously maimed, living their no life pressure. in constant agony. Cheers, mate. There must be something in this room I can give him. Uh, some cereal. <laughs> uh, what can we give him to increase his sex appeal? Right, so I've got some. Uh, uh, I've got some CDs or some vinyls, sorry, to uh, to play to Mr. John. First, we have Sean Centralstein record. Let's see if this tickles his fancy. Let's see if it gets him in the mood. Oh, you know your tunes, Paradigm. Gonna slay so many circuits tonight. Anyway, <laughs> you can find the floppy disk from a fellow named Space Cadet. That local drug addict guy. Ask Doug outside <laughs> for some directory dues if you can't remember. Directions? That's what oh, said. God. Well, if I have to go save the world, I guess. By the tone of your voice. You clearly don't understand the gravity of the situation. Uh, ha. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, nah. I figured you wouldn't understand, so I prepared this paper mache earth for your benefit earlier. <laughs> what the hell is that? You've really improved on your paper mache quest skills. Great work, John. Cheers, mate. I'll really appreciate your support of my hobby over the years. Anyway, you say, Cobza, all the world's radioactive waste is stored under crush. This is there bizarre. Is so bizarre. Waste under this station for complete annihilation. As you probably know, crush is world number one in the Brabant economy. Now, pay attention to that red dot. That's us. Right. Oh, okay. Uh. Nice. Nice. That's the basic gist of a sizzle if you don't get that floppy. My you god! You can fall out, mutations, people die in agony, pine, suffering. <laughs> pine! Right, um, it's very, very odd that the, the way we're trying to save the world is a freaking floppy disk. I'm gonna go get some directory dues. Right, let's exit, baby. Warning. Oh, what? Imminent complete meltdown is imminent. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Meanwhile, you request it, sir. Yes, I want, I want you to bring me <laughs> paradise. <laughs> 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 
You won't do it, man. Yes, oh my god! Need, that is perfect. Need... <laughs> 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 Oh my god. That's the best that's the best boss ever or whatever he's meant to be. Any freaking moves on a on a ripping hover chair candy turned me into this monstrosity. Oh, that's brilliant. That is brilliant. Your legacy will live on. Oh, that is absolutely brilliant. Right, beat five dollars. Uh, let, let's come out here and talk to this dude. Is this the dude? Let's talk to him. Do you mind dropping Do some fat beatsies? Some fat beatsies? Okay. <laughs> oh, he's got no skills. Oh, 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 go! Go on, boy! Dude? Thanks, dude. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm not asking him to drop some more. Um, do you know much about the space cadet? All I know is that he is the local drug addict. God of Wakeney, 47 years old, uncomfortably apparent fetish for boxes. <laughs> I guess that's him. Mm, I don't know much about him, really. Except he keeps asking for drugs in exchange for his boxes. Also, also blowjobs. Lots of blowjobs. <laughs> ah, yes. Excuse me while I drown myself in a pool of bleach. <laughs> uh, <laughs> did you consider you them? Considered the blowjobs? If I wasn't a drogonist, I would probably consider it. It gets awfully lonely out here. <laughs> uh, right, I need to know where I, I can find him. Where I can find him. <laughs> well, if you find me a map or something, I'll hook you up with the deeds. With the deets? Right, okay, right. Uh, Later. Peace, bro. Right, okay, let's, let, we need to find a map. Here's the here's the map. Right, can we use that uh, on him? Because that's got a map on it. No, Doug? Doug, buddy? I have this uh, crush postcard. Will this work? Yes, I think that will work. There we you go. You can find him in the bottom right in uh, Crush Forest. Also, one last thing. Don't be surprised if he's not wearing pants. <laughs> well, that's something to look forward to, isn't it? Oh, also, if I didn't say, I found the, the I found the map in a mailbox, which which was inside another mailbox. I'm so happy, I'm so happy, I'm lucky me. Anyways, we're gonna end that part there. This is the most bizarre freaking game, but that's what makes me absolutely love it. I mean, first off, I've got a bloody ball bag on my head, so that that's already an instant reason to think it's a little bit bizarre. And it seems like there's a there's an evil sloth with a Donald Trump ha style haircut. Um, what what more could you bloody want? If you did enjoy this video, remember to give a big old thumbs up. Let me know in the comments section below if you want to see a part two. Uh, I I kind of just I really want to just play this through. Like I don't know how long it's gonna be, but <laughs> it's so bizarre that it's it's uh, it's beautifully intriguing. Um, so yeah, if you did enjoy the video, remember to give a big old thumbs up. Subscribe down below. It's free, and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye bye.